I can't say I'm surprised here. Are you? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about some leaked text messages from Tucker Carlson to a colleague about Trump. He is essentially throwing Trump under the bus, talking about he hates him passionately. He wants to move on from Trump as far as the coverage on Fox News. The texts from Tucker are all bad about Trump. Now, I'm not surprised here. Before we get to the text, which I do have, I'm not surprised here because I hear this a lot from conservative people. And let's be clear, Tucker is a conservative. He just put out some January 6th footage that even some on the right are trying to attack him for, talking about, oh, you cherry picking. It's not in context. How dare you frame it this way like it was nothing burger when it was really something. So he's not a guy that is on the left at all. And I hear this a lot from conservative people. They say they love Trump for what he did for the country for four years, but now it's time to move on because he's too toxic. He has too many issues to go along with him. They want to move on to a different person. That's what I hear. That's the feedback I get. And me being who I am, I get a ton of feedback. I get thousands of emails. You guys send me stuff in my regular actual physical mailbox and my PO box. I get all kinds of stuff and I hear the same thing. This is why I say that for 2024, the better pick would be Ron DeSantis. Now, before I go down that road, let's get into the article. This is from National Review. This is a kind of conservative website. They're not really a pro-Trump place, but this is not the Salon or New York Times or anything like that. This is kind of a conservative outlet. And let's get into it. You see the headline here. I hate him passionately. Tucker Carlson unloads on Trump in text messages. Let's let's go ahead and get through it here. A series of text messages released by Dominion Voting Systems as part of the defamation lawsuit against Fox News revealed that the network's star on air personality, Tucker Carlson, has a deep disdain for Donald Trump. Now, let's pause right there. So already, if it was released by Dominion, take it with a grain of salt, whatever you want to do. If the texts are correct, then it is what it is. It doesn't really matter who leaked them. It doesn't matter and the, the context in which it were released. If they're real, they're real. But you got to know that they were released by Dominion Voting Systems. And we all know what's going on with that. I don't need to go down that road right now, so I digress. Quote, I hate him passionately, unquote, reads one text sent by Carlson to a colleague. What he's good at is destroying things. He's the undisputed world champion of that. He could easily destroy us if we play it wrong. And he's not really wrong about that. The thing about Trump is a double-edged sword. He did so much good for this country, but at the same time, he used that same power that he has to build, to build beautifully, to build well, to build strongly. He can sometimes use that same power to destroy with equal efficiency as he did the building. And that's just the reality of the situation. If Trump was to run again and he got a nomination, well, he's running again, but if he got a nomination, I'd vote for him. I voted for him two times, but I can't ignore his flaws. I can't. Everybody has flaws. Trump has flaws. DeSantis has flaws. Everybody. But Trump, it's pretty obvious what his flaws are. Let's continue here. Quote, we are very, very close to being able to ignore Trump most nights. Carlson wrote in a message just two days before the January 6th attack on the Capitol. I truly can't wait. Now, this has pretty much been proven because if you turn on Fox right now, they don't cover Trump really. You know who covers Trump the most. You know who gives him the most attention. The left, MSNBC, CNN, they talk about Trump all the time. Your late night talk shows, your Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, all these, you know, random big forehead Irish guys on television. They talk about Trump incessantly. Why? Because they know the general public have a disdain for Trump. They don't like Trump. They hate Trump more than they pay Joe Biden attention. Joe Biden is pretty much falling apart at the seams like a cheap Chinese suit you got for $10 from Sheen or somewhere like that or Amazon, okay? A cheap Chinese rack suit. He is falling apart at the seams. But rather than focus on that, let's talk about Trump and January 6th and things that happened four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eighty 10, 80 years ago. 
that's kind of where they at right now. It's simple. So then when they run their next guy, whether it be um, a thousand year old Joe Biden again, or Gavin Newsom or whoever they run, the focus will be less on their accomplishments and what they really bring to the table and more on don't vote for the uh, extreme MAGA Republicans, red hat wearing. That's their whole game. And it's pretty clear to see what's going on. But I digress. On another occasion, Carlson, one of America's one of American cable news, uh, leading news broadcasters wrote, that's the last four years. We're all pretending we've got a lot to show for it. Because admitting what a disaster it's been is too tough to digest. But come on, there really isn't an upside to Trump. Well, I don't agree with that. Obviously, we had very low unemployment rates. The country was uh, just much better under Trump. I mean, to say that, I don't really get it. There's no upside. I think that's incorrect. You could say that there's flaws, but I don't know about that part. Anyway, Carlson spent much of the Trump years defending the president from what he viewed as unfair attacks by Democrats in the media, calling attention to the exaggerations and false allegations associated with the investigation into Trump's alleged ties to the Kremlin, which was bogus. They came out and said it was bogus. There was nothing there, nothing burger. So that's correct for him to defend him on that. He frequently praised Trump for adhering to his campaign platform on issues such as immigration, but would criticize the president when he felt he had caved to establishment figures and the Republican Party. And that's correct to do as well, because, again, Tucker Carlson just released January 6th footage, which really, really, really angered you Mitch McConnell's and guys like that on the right. The quote, the quote unquote, conservative thought leaders, conservative leading voices in the party. So what he's saying right there, I mean, that's right on point. But anyway, Dominion Voting Systems, an election technology company, is suing Fox News, citing that the network's promoting of conspiracy theories that the 2020 presidential election was rigged and that Dominion played an active role in undermining Trump's re-election efforts. Meanwhile, the election firm alleges that Fox stoked controversy around the veracity of the 2020 election results to generate news coverage, knowing that the claims they were promoting were false. Okay, so that's that. I mean, there's there's more here. We're talking about Tucker Carlson and the January 6th stuff, but I've already spoken about that. If you want to read the rest of this in full without me talking over it or talking through it, I'll link to that in the description. If you're on IG, link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on my website. But as I close, I want to say this. I'm not surprised at these texts from Tucker because I hear this a lot from people. Again, if Trump was to get a nomination again, I'd vote for him again. I wouldn't just abstain from voting because of his flaws. But I know in my heart of hearts that if he gets a nomination, it's going to be an uphill battle at best for him to win. The clear cut person to get in there and succeed would be Ron DeSantis. I think we already know this. There are some diehard loyalists that refuse to vote if they don't get their guy in there. But I'm like, we got to get the emotion out of it. We got to get the feelings out of it and just do what will make the most sense for us to succeed. It's really just quite that simple. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about um, these text messages released by Dominion that are allegedly from Tucker to his colleague that kind of throw Trump under the bus? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys pretty much know where I'm at. I'm not surprised here. I hear this a lot from people from all over the country. It's nothing, it's nothing new, really, because people just have different kind of opinions about people. The most negativity and toxicity is attached to Trump. Whether it be fair or unfair, it doesn't really matter. It is what it is. I think we should move forward and rally behind a guy like DeSantis who can actually win. There's no dirt on him. There's no big media campaign to attack him. I mean, they try to do stuff, but there's nothing really there. Trump had a bunch of dirt on him, even though it wasn't really that bad. They amplified it, but you can't, there, there's nothing really to do with DeSantis, they're trying, but they're they're striking. They're striking out. They have nothing. Let him run. Let him succeed. And let's just thank Trump for what he did for us to get us to this point where we're able to have a DeSantis run and win. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.